Hello guys, uh, welcome back. Welcome back to Chinta School of Statistics and Data Science. And we are here with solving one of the most beautiful problems um, for the students who are just starting out with univariate uh, distributions in probability. Uh, so <clears throat> when, you, when you see this problem, the, let's, let's read the problem for you. Um, so X is a standard normal variable that is normal zero comma one. And then it asks for the probability some polynomial in X is greater than zero. So it's a function, it's a random variable, some random variable of X involving X is greater than zero. So it's a, it it's the part of function of random variables, right? So how do we approach this problem? It asks for this probability. And you can see that that phi is nothing but the CDF of standard normals, Z. Z. So in some sense, it's asking uh, the probability, you have to transform the probability in the function of X to the function probability which is a just in X, okay? Just in the values of X, right? X greater than something or X less than something. Then only you can find out the, like transform the idea to this whole uh, CDF format, right? So therefore, let's try to understand how to do this. So we have to transform this function into just X format, okay? So therefore let's, the first focus should be understanding the function itself. So this is how you think about the problem. Okay, so let's try to understand how to start off with this problem. It's very straightforward. So it's asked that probability X cube minus two X square minus X plus two is greater than zero, right? So, so if you have, if you understand the first thing that should come to your mind is like, how does this function relate? Like, like can we like make it easier to understand? And that's where the idea of factorization comes up. If you factorize this quantity, this turns out to be, see, there's X minus two common here is X squared times X minus two here. And there's minus one times X minus two here. So you observe that together it will be X squared minus one that is x into x, that is x plus one into x minus one into x minus two greater than zero, right? And this turns out to be therefore, so therefore how do we draw this function to understand and transform this idea into just a part of x, let's not understand how these functions look like. So if you don't understand, draw this function, observe that x, x goes to infinity, the x s cube is going to infinity and x goes to minus infinity is going to minus infinity. So therefore the function, when you draw it kind of goes up from in minus infinity and it comes down from infinity, okay? So therefore it has three roots, minus one, one and two. So let's draw them minus one, one and two. And it comes down from here. So the root therefore must be coming down to zero and then it must go to root to one, then it goes go to one and then it must go again to minus one as a root. So it must go up because the motion is in that direction and it comes down. This is called the wavy curve method and it goes to minus infinity. So this is this is called the wavy curve method. We've already taught this in our mathematics course, full course. So it's called wavy curve method. This is based on the idea of uh, intermediate value theorem, okay, that here it will be positive, negative, positive. So a, a, x is greater than zero, it's negative, a positive. Between here it's negative, here it's positive, here it's negative, right? So therefore, um, how to draw it, how it will come down and for the entire thing, how it happens using rule theorem and mean value theorem. So it's very easy and very interesting. It's very beautiful too. So from this, we get that therefore this function is greater than zero only if this is x and this is the f of x. This is f of x, let's say. Greater than zero only in this region, right? Let me mark it. Only in this region. And this region. So how do you write it down? It's greater than zero, therefore, if when x is between, x is less than one, not equal to one, greater than minus one union, the event, X is greater than two. It's an event, understand this. All these things are events. And therefore, 
you get that this is nothing since the disjoint even so you write that probability x less than 1 greater than minus 1 plus probability x greater than 2 very simple and if you write down that so it's probability x less than equal to 1 since it's continuous minus probability x greater than equal less than equal to minus 1 Plus one minus probability x. Since we are asked in terms of what, in terms of the CDF of standard normal. So x is the standard normal here. So you get that phi of one plus sorry minus phi of minus one plus one minus phi of two. So if you observe the options out there, if you remember the options out there. You will see that it's in terms of phi one and phi two. So therefore, transform the whole thing in terms of phi one and phi two. So if you transform the whole thing in terms of phi one and phi two, so let's draw the curve. Let's draw the PDF of the standard normal. The PDF zero here. So phi of one. So observe you can understand that you have to transform minus one into one. So phi of minus one is this. The area in this region, and phi of minus, since it's symmetric, is also same as this. So observe that phi of minus one is same as this is what this is one minus probability phi less uh, probability x less than equal to one, right? So it's one minus phi of one. This is nothing but probability x greater than one, which is nothing but one minus probability x less than equal to one, right? This region. One minus probability this. So therefore, phi of minus one is nothing but one minus phi of one. We can replace this here. If we replace this here, we get phi of one minus of one plus phi of one minus plus one minus phi of two. Cancelling out each other, we get that twice of phi of one minus phi of two. That's easy and peasy, right? That's pretty easy stuff. So the idea is that you transform this into x in something you know, and I use the idea of the symmetric. I uh, you know this draw this graph, transform into x, and use the idea of the symmetricity of the whole standard normal around zero. That's the basic three ideas that we used here. I hope you enjoy this problem. If you're interested in such more problem solving, you can check out our courses and more theory. You can check out the courses which uh, teach the students uh, with passion of our statistics, probability, mathematics. For the ID and MS and IS, I am stuck. And yep, um, all the best. I will see you in the next video. Stay tuned and stay blessed. If you like this video, do share, subscribe, like, and share with your friends who are preparing and learning together for the whole journey. Consistency is very important. So stay tuned and stay blessed. All the best. Bye bye.